Hello friends, it's Sean Strickland here with Poison Spider Remuda and Training in Cristobal, Texas. What do we got going on today? We are show prepping. Uh, this is a client horse here. We have a cutting this weekend in Graham, Texas, an NCHA cutting. Uh, this horse here, uh, we call her Ray-Ban. She's won about 10,000. And uh, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna get her, getting her prepped for the show. Now we've already worked her on a cow a few times this week already. Uh, today we're going to slow everything down and we're going to work on the flag and just uh, work on some confidence building. Just some nice slow work. We don't want to, you know, get her revved up and get her scared before the show. We don't want her going in there, uh, you know, thinking about the training that we've done here at the house, which was all good. The training was really good. Um, but we just want to slow it down and build that confidence up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to work the flag. Um... You're going to see how I prep one for the show. And uh, what I do may not work for everybody else, but it's been good. It's worked for me. Um, and also, this is going to show you at home, if you have a flag and you don't have cattle to work, how you can get your horse ready for the show. Uh, the first thing that we do, though, first, before we ever even work the flag, is we get our horse mentally and physically prepared. Uh, you've heard me say that several times uh, in some of my videos. And what I mean by that is we went out there, we loped this horse, we got this horse... Uh, got a good sweat on it we got all the joints warmed up we got her mind warmed up and she's ready to roll we have a little draw bit set up on her today uh this draw bit has a, a a short shank correction in the mouth and today we're just wanting to travel straight stop straight draw straight and we're wanting that flag to pull that horse's nose through and travel straight stop straight draw straight pull that nose around that's all we're going to be working on today you may see me do a few little circles uh, in between those stops, and it, it might be because that horse is pushing its shoulder in. Some of these older horses, they get a little bit, uh, they get a little smart, and they, they want to start cheating you in places. They want to drop that shoulder in, and what that's going to do is that in the show pin, that's going to create forward motion in your horse, and you don't want your horse creeping up that pin. So today, after some of those stops, you may see me stop my horse, pull that nose around, and then send that horse out with that flag again. So, and I'll talk to you while I'm doing it, but I guess we'll go ahead and get started and, and get Ray-Ban worked here uh, so that she's good for our client at the show tomorrow. And hopefully we come home with uh, the big paychecks. But here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this horse a little bit in front of that flag. I'm going to go stop this flag. And I don't want my horse to turn until this flag gets to their hip. And that's going to draw that horse around. It's going to pull that horse's nose and it's going to draw that horse around. These horses get smart and they see that flag move and they automatically want to move themselves right there. So I may back my horse. I may draw my horse a little bit until that flag gets to that hip. And then I'm going to help my horse come all the way around. Go ahead and do that. So I didn't like the way that that horse worked right there. She threw her shoulder in a little bit. So I'm going to back her a little bit. I'm going to get control of this nose. And then I'm going to send her out with that flag here in just a second. Right there. We had a lot more nose action right there. We'll go ahead and do it to this side too. Again, she's throwing that shoulder. So we're gonna work on this a few times. What we're doing is we're just getting her correct here. Get control of that nose, spread those back hocks out a little bit. There we go. Good. Good. It's all right to let your horse rest at the end of this flag. Show them that there is a release somewhere. A lot of times I'll just come sit right here and work on patience with my horse. All right, we're going to go ahead and start drawing a little bit. And 
then whenever I drop my hand, that's when I want her to come around. I'm going to hold her with my cow side leg right here. There we go. Release. Now I'm only going to let her travel out some. I'm not going to jerk on her face real hard right now unless she absolutely needs me to drag her in the ground. Uh, you know, I will pull on her a few times to get her thinking stopping. She's kind of lagging into that stop right there. And so I may drag her into the ground a couple times right over here and get her thinking, okay, i got to stop. But I want her to stop just a little bit ahead of that flag right there because I want her thinking that she's the one stopping it. there right there she didn't quite stay straight so I'm gonna send her over here I'm gonna make her go catch that flag now there we go make her go catch that flag we stopped a little bit short right there I didn't want to run it in make her draw then go pretty good right there. I'm going to let her just rest here. Look at that natural draw. That's what we want. We want her thinking back. We're going to go back up here and let her take a breath. It's so easy to keep going and going and going and going. But we got to remember, they got to be able to take a breath. I like the way she's sitting right here. Her rib is out of the way. She's looking at that flag. That way her nose is automatically going to come through right there. Right there. Her nose is set up. I'm watching that flag. I may help her rock back right here. We're going to rock back one step. There we go. Same thing. Get control of that nose. Good. Rock back. Right there, we were a little long. She likes to get a little long on this side. It's naturally, it's going back to the barn. So I'm gonna stop her inside of this flag a couple times. What that means is I'm not gonna send her out past it. I'm gonna keep her inside of this flag on this side and I'm gonna get her thinking stopping. Right there, I'm gonna get her thinking stopping. We're gonna do it again. Good, good. I'm happy with that right there. Now when you quit your horse on the flag, it's important draw them back and turn the way that that flag or cow would have gone the next time. Now at the show, we'll flag her again. Uh, at the show, we'll put a different setup in there. We'll put her show bridle on her. We might put a little head setter. Today, I put this on there so I could just get control of more of this nose today. I wanted that nose coming around today. 
and I wanted her following that nose. And this little setup right here really gets control of their nose. Gets con and we don't just want control of their nose, we want control of their rib too, we want control of their hind end. We need those horses to be able to spread those hawks out. We don't just want the nose right there, then go. Those hawks have got to be preset as well. And so, like I said, a lot of times you start backing up, back your horse, start backing them, then get control of that nose, and then just keep backing in that circle. Just keep backing in that circle. And we'll set this horse up right here. Right here. Back in in that circle, getting that hip out of the way. Look at there. Yeah, that right there is pretty. Do it again over here. Get a back in that circle. In the 2000. It's usually on rerun cattle and the cattle are pretty tough but luckily with this show we've got fresh cattle in that class. Um, arguably it's one of the hardest classes in the NCHA I believe uh, just because those cattle are tough and, and they're, they're true amateur showing in that class so an amateur trying to learn how to cut on rerun cattle is, is incredibly difficult but it's a it's a great milestone if you make it through that 2000 and you graduate from it and you go above it. It's because you've gotten gritty, your horse has gotten gritty, and uh, but anyways, I hope I hope this little video will help y'all at home for the people who who show cutters or or just little weekend jackpots or ranch cuttings, whatever it may be. If you don't have cattle to work but you got a flag or your buddy's got a flag. Uh, the purpose of the flag is yes to get them broke to cut but it's also a fantastic place to either build their confidence or incredibly break their confidence since we control the controls on a flag a lot of times we just keep going and going and going and going and before you know it we're going for no purpose no reason uh, we're making our horse worth worse we're getting mad the horse is getting mad so if you work the flag have a game plan no one to quit no one to keep going and and have an end and result in mind and uh but anyways I, I hope that's gonna help you i hope we pull a check today or this weekend at the show i hope you all have an awesome weekend enjoy your horse stay confident and continue to build your horse's confidence don't forget to subscribe to our channel sean strickland poison spider remuda and our facebook page on uh, facebook poison spider remuda have an awesome weekend thank you